So a heron bird, after a long decisions, what to do, what to paint. Very nice shot by Darren. We can see two eyes <laughs> of heron bird and poor fishy. Um, yeah, lots of uh, jobs to do about light, light and shadow, as always. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. So starting with the sketch. Um, yeah, Darren had a really cool shot, so we kind of don't really need to think a lot about composition. It's done for us. So basically, um, the only thing maybe we leave a little bit more space um, before uh, the nose, yes, and not sticking the nose like really till, um, till the side of the page. And also, you can see, yes, uh, play a bit with the with your paper, maybe a bit more space on top. Also, um, yes, and of course we can leave as as the picture also is this way, like a bit half cutted, and the the side is a bit more like uh, darkened. So of course we can use also this thing ink like and because it looks very, very, very artistic photo that it was misleaded by uh, the painting. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a true compliment from, from my you. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, so no rush, we're playing with proportions. Take a look how uh, the, the head is actually, yeah we can see this movement. So even like now I'm sketching and I feel I need to move my head a bit further. Yeah, and then again, then it means maybe my composition on the page also needs to be reviewed. So And as you are already not beginners, then doing those lines, yes, feel free also kind of mark, let's say, main shadows. Yeah, so it's, it's just kind of working a bit, a bit parallel. And yeah, the, here, light and shadow, very, very cool, especially here where the neck is. Uh, and yeah, then remember also to check where each line, each point is living on um, on a photo. So where this part of the shadow on the neck is ending, yeah, in comparison to you know, to the head uh, and mouth. Fishy, for example, we can also even a bit you now emphasize maybe you know, maybe detail a bit more like interesting. So it's kind of also maybe this. And then of course we have very nice light and shadow relation on the yeah, so uh, it's not mouth, but uh, for, for birds, we call it um, in English. Yeah, also the size of the um, yeah. And of course, resist, resist to do the details till the last moment. Uh, like once, once you're sure. And then of course, also try to capture there is a shadow from uh, from the mouth. So how you call this part of the bird? Um, peak? No. Uh, no. Yeah, and um, on the fish, you have uh, a shadow from it. Yeah, and it's 
very important. Okay, then it gives this. Um, nice. Yeah, take your time to, to finish. I will also do a quick sketch on my <laughs> on my papers, and it was today total improvisation on the topic. Yeah, so So always, always like things like this, starting with the with big volumes, the body, the neck, the head. That's how it fits. And paper. Yeah. And trying to move your pencil pretty much like quick. Yeah? So like you can clean later all the extra lines. Yeah, working quickly is also something you you practice and you. I'm not sure, like, you know, if there is something like, if one has to work quickly or are there like special benefits. I mean, of course, let's say if you want to capture life moments, yeah. So let's say painting outside, even if you're painting a landscape, you have to be quick because the sun, the shadows, they're changing constantly. And yeah, it's going to be on a different position after 20 minutes. So yeah, all those, those parts. Yeah. So if on your page, you also get like this part of the leg, yeah, definitely check. So just as usually, so like those important points, like shadow on the neck. Yeah. And here also where from the neck, where we are going to the leg. Okay. This point, and let's say I check it vertically. Uh -huh. It's on this part, like starting of the, of the back. Uh, and so um yeah because otherwise sometimes it's easy you get um, yeah. getting those proportions well mm -hmm. and of course so for example you do quickly all the sketch and then you can do a little bit like self-check uh, process by checking those points yes and then correcting yourself a bit and and with time of course uh, you like your eye get trained and you get better and better and you need less corrections. I'm also doing the little fish, like how much it's outside the um, uh, it's hanging out. Of course, it can also be different. I mean, yeah, like some some parts uh, doesn't have to be copied one to one. Um, but. Okay. 
Yeah, and also with a big help also to check, let's say, the emptinesses. So you can see, okay, what the geometrical figure is taking the, the shape here under the head and where the neck is taking the curve. Yeah, so and see, aha, uh -huh, is on my page, on my paper is the same or the geometrical shape there looks more, I don't know, narrow, wide. Um, and so on. Let me check on also the thickness of the neck. Um, yeah. But again, all, all these things that I'm telling you, it's if your purpose is um, realistic. Huh? And of course, if your purpose is more uh, surrealistic, abstract, and so on, then, um, then work differently. But anyway, even if, let's say, you choose a realistic approach, still you need to kind of yeah, um, take a moment and think what are the like main characteristic, what's the most important about this bird, yes, and put all this accent and attention to these parts. Yes, and the rest you make like you, you put there, but maybe a bit less important. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe you say, okay, the peak is very long, it's, um, uh, this is the main essence, and then you can make this part more detailed and paint-wise as well, like, um, or maybe this, the, like, your idea maybe is like, maybe the main hero is the fish, and um, so you kind of, make a very sketchy bird and then the, the fish is the one that like uh, mm. okay I think more or less my So what's your options? What would you start with um, paint wise? Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking possibly white for his coat sort of thing and then build on the uh, grays on top of it. Very nice. Um, I, would, I would do the same. But today, of course, we're going to work with lots of different grays. So, of course, feeling free to squeeze lots of white and then have different um, yeah, those amounts of white. So then I can play with very light gray and I can play with... Uh, yeah, so here I actually like, have squeezed uh, three parts of white and yeah I can play either with the black or with the paint gray and and remember then we can also control it with the amount of the water yeah so maybe the first layer can go a bit more waterish because it lets us to, um, to have the paper um, shining through. Yeah. And... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so for example, I can take, yeah, even maybe bigger brush. Yeah, and then we take a look at all those grays. Yes, and we decide. Um, also, like let's let's choose this very light gray. Then we can go almost everywhere, um, even like in some white places. Um, maybe, like maybe, of, or or let's like take a look together. So, for example, of course, those white, white, white places where it's also sun shining. Yeah, maybe keep just the paper clean, and then later we take a look. Yeah, if they're too bright, we, we lower a bit the intensity. Also, very nice stripe of white here all along the back. It's also like, because, you know, the body continues and the sun is obviously like shining almost to, to our eyes. Yeah, we have the shadow on this side of the bird. So I would go like with the gray that is something like, where the white parts are in uh, shadow. I have some eye thing, but I'm not sure what I've made. And we remember adding black or gray to white very slowly. Yes, it's very easy to overcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my my first goal would be like yeah this very watery transparent um, gray yeah? and you can check also somewhere so as I've mentioned maybe this shape of um, so where the shadow on the neck is this could be probably the the first of the gray to do. And then, of course, we can go more or less like a bit everywhere. I mean, of course, we, we will be darkening parts, but some of them will stay in this, um, in this grayness. Mm -hmm. So like lots of water, very light. You have to stay on a, on a safe side. Because even if acrylics can cover, uh, still having this effect of white paper shining through gives, uh, gives the... Mm. So as you can see, like yeah, very just base color we have. Yeah. And then later just like just continuing. So with the same brush and just a bit more grayish. Yeah. And and not necessarily you need to go like step by step, like very light gray, a bit more dark or a bit. You can also jump in, in those tonalities. Yeah. So for example, uh, yeah, your your second step could be doing some maybe sketching some main shadows. Yeah. Because again, it's all about the tonality. Yeah. Tonality means how light, how dark is. 
part and yeah, but again no rushing so even if i know that the place i'm putting now my a bit darker gray later it's going to be much more darker it's it's fine i will i will have the possibility to darken it don't forget to use also like brush strokes in in some parts where yeah we see there are those feathers of of the bird yeah, especially on the wing here And generally, of course, important also to like think of the bird as yeah, all, all, all the whole thing. So don't get stuck too much in one corner. Do something there and go do something yeah, elsewhere. Yeah, very nice picture. Like on the so where the upper part of the neck is. So like here where I'm now, you can even see how with the shadows, like the differences between those shadows and that are forming the shape of the neck. Yeah. So how is how they're turning there? So absolutely. Of course, probably just trying to watch the birds wife and paint them. It would be impossible even see those such um and also no no worries if you get too dark in some area. You have accident. You remember even like putting just putting white straight on top of the drawing helps. Yeah, it's, um... So, so um before um I think I will go as a next step with a bit of those yellowishes yeah that we have because then my aim is to still my brush, my water, my palette, it's all still kind of in a light tones, yeah. Because like for the bird, I already would wish also maybe go with a bit those blackish parts, because of course this will give me more um, ready shape and so on. But um, let's do a bit of those yellowishes. Yellow, a drop of red. There is even a bit of very nice greenish on the 
face next to the eye. And for example, I'd go like straight with some very bright yellowish, let's say, yeah, to those. Of course, there are also inside some shadow parts, but uh, let's, let's prepare this base. Uh, And let's see there on the peak where the shadow from the fish is. Yeah, also you can start just from like with putting orange in there, and then later we decide how much of brownish or blackish we should we should go with. So here a bit maybe more like playing with details, um, but we do a bit of yellowish, orangey, reddish inside. Uh -huh, yeah, then also checking where this red is ending, make sure a bit more. So I didn't resist it. I went for the <laughs> for the black a bit inside the peak, and then okay, going the red again a bit inside. Yeah, but very nice, I like this moment where those uh, fins of fish are like on top of the peak of the bird. I think it's also very, like one of those sweet moments that you as an artist should kind of uh, notice, emphasize. Um, I mean, of course, you can find or choose on your ones. Yeah, that's 
it's what our job consists of uh, uh, seeing, choosing, and so I've been playing with blackish, but now I feel there is a bit of shadow of uh, on the bird. It feels a bit more brownish, so I, I get a bit of brown. So just uh, burnt umber. Yeah, because in generally, it's always should be a bit, a bit more careful with this blackish. It should go away from those details, but sometimes, yeah, it's not there. It's okay for the. I'm gonna do just the side fit shadow on the fish, and then let's move on some other parts. Um, don't rush with the eye. I mean, unless you're kind of sure, sure where it's positioned, yeah, then of course you can go ahead. And still, I would suggest probably do first the yellow color in it. And so you can do kind of more, and then uh, just on top you go with them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sit yellowish. So I put just the yellow dot for the eye and now I'm going to go again back to my blacky shadows somewhere, some spots. Wait till it's, it's dry. There is also some this greenish spot. Thank you very much. A bit greenish, a bit. Yellowish. Yes, yeah, so of course, also there will be more yellowish on some different parts of um, 
uh, of, of, of the body. Yeah, you can see it's all those reflections. Yeah, so the word reflections, it's also something uh, started from impressionists and um, well, this is what helps. So if you learn to notice them, learn, um, see where they are and when you're painting with colors then you also see which which color yeah you, you can match the right color tonality then um, yeah, the painting looks more life vivid uh, realistic yeah, so. uh, for example doing those uh, parts yeah these little black parts in the neck i hold my brush pretty much vertically and the movement is more like um, yeah, just like pointing. So I'm not really moving my brush as if um, painting. So not horizontally, but totally vertical. And, yeah, and then of course, think about the size of those dots yeah, here under. They're already much, much. And, and so some areas of, of the bird, let's say, um, it's not about the lines, but really about the trying to get different color, but kind of the whole surface part, yeah? So, so somewhere we might have like more lines, but mostly, mostly in, in realistic, yeah? Those transitions are really, let's say, wider lines. Yeah, so it's, uh, there is no contour, but uh, yeah. and don't rush. Like you put put some gray. Yeah, let, let it dry, um, then it will be much easier. You go on top with already like either a bit lighter, either a bit darker. Yeah, it's it's very hard just like from the first stroke to to have this perfect um, tonality. And yeah, because anyway, all this tonality, like you need to understand, it's always in comparison. So. I always say, okay, how much darker is this? How much lighter is that according to this spot next to it? And um, yeah. they, there is nothing on its own on the painting. There is always the, the relationship yeah, just between them. And then playing a lot with the um, amount of water on my brush. Yeah, so sometimes a bit more dry, sometimes a bit more wet. Um, uh, you, I mean, you just feel when, when you need a bit more watery, then kind of it's easier to change this tonality. So I just cover the whole space with some yeah, darker part of water and then somewhere. And somewhere I use the dry brush strokes. Yeah. Also don't worry too much about those um so shapes of back or further, yeah. Um, the secret in, in those is actually you show them, but like not everywhere, yeah? just somewhere. Um, and the rest, like the, the viewer, the eyes, they 
kind of prolong it themselves. So uh, um, it doesn't have to be like very, very. Of course, the like the huge contrast yeah, is between this this white spot and the neck, yeah. And since there, it's also you remember this story of there is object, there is no object, yeah. So this line is um, like we see it in on 2D paper, yeah, but in real life behind the neck there is still space, like air, and then comes this white part of, of the body. Yeah, so this line, like you can do more, of course, and it's like very yeah, straight, harder, more. Um, it's also the center of the Painting. But, but again, don't rush. Maybe like let it, if you just put white, let it dry, then later work on this shadowish part. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, doing little things like the eye. No, I also always prefer it's more like dotting rather than moving the brush. And then I have more control. And um, yeah, around the eye, there is also a job needs to be done. So it's not only this uh, spot of the eye. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brushed. It was still not too dry. And it all went around. Okay, let's try a little bit. And of course, shake them. We will need to okay. okay, my eye is in the <laughs> pause moment. It needs to it needs to rest. But when it meant so around the eye, yeah, there is lots, lots of this also shadow, um, like very dark shadow on one side, and then some other is going a bit more up. So don't stay just with the yellow and black dot, but definitely, definitely integrate it in the whole uh, yeah, face of, of the bird. So it doesn't look separated. Yeah, and um, I work also, I use different brushes. So of course, let's say I stick with one that I, I keep for 
for white, yellow, yeah, for light, and the other one for black, then it's easier to switch. And then this one. old fluffy brushes also are a good help when you need to do a bit more this animal fur texture yeah, so don't throw away them <laughs> too quickly And again, always, always remember, worked a bit on the details, then take a look at the whole um, image. Yeah, and maybe it, yeah, I don't know, at this moment also it's already useful to remember our half closed eyes exercise. So. Am I putting the accents right? Are the So there is also a bit this yellowish on the body. Yeah, so maybe we can mix yellow into some gray yeah, and also give us good touches so the bird is not just too plain white and gray like, but this is also white. Yeah, but of course, very gentle, like not as much as.
and uniting, uniting. So already also see from far away that now I need to start making it more all together, the part of the neck. And the feeling of being whole all together is always, always much important. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you can also like check on yourself as a viewer when, when you go to the painting gallery and um, and you enter uh, yeah, the exhibition room. First, what you see is with, with your side view uh, and then you get attracted to some some artworks and it's, it's exactly of, of this how the picture looks whole and um, yeah, of, of this main idea and later comes coming the details yeah the details they make of course also um, effects and so on, but So doing details, it's also, let's say, amount of water on your brush. So if I'm looking to get a precise spot, like in the eye, then I double check if there is not too much water on my brush. Yeah, because sometimes you put it in and it starts to, like it flows. But of course, if I need a thin long line, then I do need my brush a bit more wet. Yeah, otherwise it becomes too hard. It could be very trying to make the eye that the poor fish looking at the bird and the bird looking at the fish. That's life. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, on top of the head, a bit also some brownish things there, but yeah, with uh, neutral with lots of white. And yeah, it's also typical when you paint, draw with a pencil a um, person's head. And of course, there are main shadows, um, yeah, where the eyes are, the nose, and so on. But then you, you come to um, forehead. And of course, it's um, usually it's in light, yeah, the light usually from top. But still, uh, due to the shape of, yeah, of, of the head, uh, there are differences. So it's still important, like with a hard pencil, yeah, and in this case, now with some um, light, like still to show the difference of the shape. Of the head, otherwise it looks just as a as a plain spot and uh, same. Okay, putting an eye, of course, at once makes it all more. Yeah. So let's go and connect a bit all together with more the body of. Uh, maybe going also a bit to the background can help as well. Yeah, since... yeah so and of course, on this back part of the bird yeah there are like there are the shadow transitions because this is the moment where there is not a strict line but you need to create those uh, uh, color transitions because the shape shape of the body is round and that's the way the shadow is Yeah. And break somewhere the lines. Don't don't do like so. The lines were um, of the bird is inside. Just to make it look like I remember not doing this with those worms, but a bit more. Yeah, and also really like no worries if you got some parts too dark at some point. Yeah, let it let it dry and you'll be able to recover. Ah, I forgot I, I got a book of Okusai. Eh? Uh, we could have painted something there. Love Hokusai, she's also great on birds and like the style also. Painting. Maybe next time it will be my <laughs> turn to choose. <laughs> um, okay, playing now with some greenish on my palette. So very nice when the palette is already in workable. Uh, uh, so then you can always use some grayish there and some, and some. And here with the background you can also already decide a bit more like 
is it really you want to do it like very realistic or maybe use the background exactly to kind of blur a bit some lines some edges um, yeah still in in like technique way i suggest always to do a bit more lighter around the objects so let's say here around the fishes or something um and the rest you do a bit more darker yeah then then it shines a bit uh, in some areas And not all your uh, page has to be covered. Obviously, you can get creative with the, with the background. Yeah, maybe it also represents some emotion or Uh, always, yellow is always good in case you get a bit too dark with green. Then just add some yellow can be even on top of the. I even suggest going with yellow rather than white. I mean, it depends. Yeah, some some in some areas, yeah, white can work, but white makes. Uh, like at once very pale. So maybe even better like add, add some yellow to lighten up and then also white on top can, can do some job. Yeah, maybe your palette knife is not far away. You can also maybe do some movements, yeah? Because we remember white palette knife is cool. Uh, it helps to get the strokes that you will never get with a brush. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. And again, one can play, let's say, with the base of background and then also adding um, some darkers on top. And, and what I also like when using palette knives, you kind of mix on the paper, just um, so let's say here, just have two piles, grab a bit of one, grab a bit of the other, and then start it. Um, Start mixing, yeah, with the, and like with less strokes, like one stroke and. Yeah, and then you can always help yourself with the brush. So yeah, there is no rule that if you only have it nice, then let's say with nice strokes and then around you can go with some watery color fill in some areas if you need to.
Uh, then I use also palette knife, a bit of grayish. Uh, so I've used here a bit of grayish, looks nice, a bit more like shadow maybe of the bird itself. Uh, so maybe won't necessarily go on top of the page. Yeah, the opposite, maybe I'll go with a bit more. Lighter in there. And of course, the most comfortable part of palette knife is that you just wipe it yeah, with them. And it's clean again. And so here, for example, at the top, I go again with just with pure white. Yeah, but also like don't don't overdo like play a bit with the ground and um, so and then analyzing yeah what I like what I don't like my results so those shiny white parts important parts some something is not convincing me in them yeah, so now I will go in this. Yeah, rechecking uniting mode, especially yeah, of all those shadows. Aha, uh -huh. you see already I put the shadow here at the bottom of the neck. Because also if you halfway close your eyes, then you start seeing that there is, I mean, even if it still looks white, because of course the, it's the bird's fur there is white, but still generally all this part is in the shadow, yeah, because the body is so uh -huh. nice 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 and then yes and then again with the um, with the background you can help as well mm. Maybe also will help as we've noticed that the back of the bird has this really uh, there is like whiter line. Yeah, so let's try. Yeah, so it's kind of constant also experimenting because you're not always sure will it work or not. What you're trying to correct. Yeah, and then here this rest of the work starts. Um, yeah, keep on improving, keep on working, keep on getting to the result you want. Um, 
a bit yeah I started like I see a bit more brownish on this half lighted part of the back yeah, so maybe these little touches will get the trick of Yeah, so let's see those darker like strokes on the back. Yeah, um, let's say she do it in in two goes. Like set those dark points, but then let let them dry a bit, and then you come back and kind of again yeah this joining joining more so it's there to bright lower a bit there. intensity. Uh -huh. Here by accidentally brush move got very nice effect of the fur here. So it's also changed a bit the direction like um, those little white strokes. So the whole color were going a bit more like one direction and a bit crossing and it got very nice. Mm -hmm. So also remember, like for example, those light parts, yeah, like we have also the peak. There is a like, of course, huge white uh, part yeah, from, from the light so it also helps to um you just get the other side of um, background a bit more darker yeah so but gently like generally there everything is light yeah but it's more like it's almost invisible for the viewer that did a little bit darker but it gets the
Yeah, and then again, in some moment, can come back a bit to the details. Yeah, so, because since we are doing these tricks that you do some part, leave it dry, and sometimes it's forget to come back. So. We're checking maybe again those some parts next to the eye. If there is yeah, because you can contemplate one part of the eye very darker, other lighter. And it's all very interesting stuff going down there. No one is sending nothing yet. <laughs> But maybe the yeah, also check maybe your brush is doing some interesting strokes that can be useful. Darren, huh? as expected. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, let's analyze. Let's analyze. So, first, of course, we are analyzing looking from far away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm checking, checking. I'm like closing my eyes and I feel maybe a bit, this side is a bit maybe whiter mm -hmm. but um maybe it's in the real picture there's also a bit whiter but just yeah you choose it by how you how you feel it if it's um yeah um, mm -hmm. maybe i mean if if the area is dry maybe a bit more like with the tiny brush if you have one Maybe yeah. a bit more detailed around the eye. Yeah, so maybe mm -hmm. the dark stroke a bit a bit too rough. Just um maybe smoother it a bit. Yeah, because look, I've managed to do some strokes. My my bird looks like a bit surprised or I don't know, like even <laughs> emotion, like eyebrows or something. Um and you got this black line, it's a bit like perpendicular to yeah, like just geometrically feels. Uh, <laughs> your fish looks like it's given up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, it's my... lost to fight. It's lost for fight. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's a... Yeah, uh, nice tail of the fish. Um, um, and and this, yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm still kind of thinking. So <laughs> don't think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just yeah looking forward. Um, this area a bit like I'm just trying to think what's like. Um, it's not bad, but maybe something in the construction of. But it's more like generally together. Maybe this line of this dark line of the neck maybe should be like maybe half centimeter or centimeter a bit higher maybe yeah mm -hmm. like, but it's it's um birds are different also and and so on but sh shadow wise it's 
it's good yeah um maybe just trying to to think yeah maybe still a bit a bit darker this upper part so they oh. like this this yeah. upper part here up mm -hmm. may, maybe just a bit more darker just to to have this bit bigger difference yeah rather than that they kind of sum up together um but, uh, Yeah, but cool. Strokes on the background are nice, and so somehow I'm 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 still liking somewhere like accent or, or some interesting like some sweet, you know, um, element or or like very nice like stroke, like convincing me. Uh, and, and yeah, maybe also the neck. Maybe also this line that I was telling about of the neck. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like trying with some like one two brush strokes define this line a bit more confident yeah because like I feel the body of um, the bird it's like yeah all it's nice so yes you listen I see it's all together yeah uh, but now <laughs> I'll tell the opposite of yeah some some uh some little bit accent strokes. Yeah, I'm putting oh, yeah, image far away to get. Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, but also, for example, in just in general in construction. So your picture and everything. What I really liked is this movement that the bird is kind of diagonal a bit going down, and your mm -hmm. one ended up a bit more like sitting straight. Yeah. So it's again like checking those points. Aha, uh -huh. is the back of my bird? Aha, uh -huh. it's higher. The head is lower than the body. Yeah. And then it gives me this diagonal movement because like the photo you caught, of course, it's very cool. Also in this in, in, in this bird's position, it's a bit like the head a bit like going um yeah. forward. Yeah, and you feel a bit this movement. Yeah. Okay, the body is not that much up, but still, yeah. Like the movement of the bird is a bit more diagonal. Mm. And um but uh, but your one looks like looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> looks even smiley a bit, like I got the bird, I can rest on my <laughs> stone, and yeah, like maybe the one on the picture is still like uh -huh, it's still in tense, you know. Uh about the cot and if no one else is gonna <laughs> if you could have seen how long it took him to actually catch that fish i was watching him for half an hour yeah. it took him a while to catch it <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's a hard job you do um darren for for all like i have no patience for <laughs> yeah. mel doesn't either <laughs> no it's uh it's very very yes well we all have our strong and weak sides, so definitely probably patience is Lauren's uh, strong side. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how how you feel yourself? Um, I mean, what did you think you did good on your painting? What do you think? Uh, initially, I I was. Initially, I thought I'd really gone wrong to start off with. I think what you're saying we're about positioning a bit, I think I actually drew the head a bit too big. And as a consequence, it, it was bunched up more rather than mm -hmm. more diagonal, like you were saying there. But uh, I, I sort of put it back there. But like you say, with fish, I, I was actually quite happy with that fish, actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, no, I think I put it back, actually, in the end. So. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, so this is also like what it shows, like, Spending a bit more time uh, on on the sketch, and so of course probably like you know, we're painting her life, so one maybe is rushing. So um, if if you are on your own, maybe you have time spend time. Yeah, because like having the the right sketch is already I don't know maybe seventy percent uh, of of the luck. Because then it's hard thinking both colors and shape and mm -hmm. and then my brains automatically just follow them. Alrighty, what's what's uh, 
what you did. How's your birdie fishy, Luis? He's on mute there. Yeah, 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 but uh, <laughs> he's too concentrated on that. <laughs> yeah, okay, we won't disturb Lewis. He's too <laughs> into the moment. Uh -huh. No, he's actually sending us. Moving slowly as usual, but I, I'm, I'm enjoying this one a lot. Hey, nice one. Nice one. It's not turning. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like how, how fluffy it looks. Hmm? So I would even like. Maybe some parts of, of the bird you already did. Maybe don't even like uh, touch them anymore. I mean, yeah, like uh, some of them, like especially here where here in the middle of, yeah, it looks all very, very, uh, very nice artistically. Yeah, so do like around, but some parts are also these back parts, like very, very nice creative. Um, what I may be lacking a bit in like the, the peak, maybe it, it is a bit more uh, thin, you know? Yeah, yeah, but I see it. It's very easy to correct just with the background. You have darker background. Yeah. So just kind of a bit tapping with the brush. Yeah, and again, it's not really sometimes, okay, where the peak is maybe long line, then you use just the so kind of the side of the brush. So you use this kind of moving like this. Yeah. So oh, okay, yeah. like rather than yeah, sometimes so it's like who gives. But in some little parts, like more here inside where this yellow thing is, then of course you then I'd go more be like, as I said, this vertically, like um yeah, uh touching tick and okay. Yeah, so, but it's it's uh, always easier to correct when it's more bigger than the background it goes, yeah. Like upper part, maybe not that much, but uh, okay, fish needs to be born yet. Yeah. And... Um, <laughs> but the shape is very nice. So I, I'd say um, you got the proportion maybe a bit better. Um, yeah, uh, uh, so kind of uh, you caught also this this nice movement. Uh, yeah, like the neck is very nice. The neck in comparison with the the rest of the body. Uh, wow, cool job, uh, Louis. I like how how fluffy is your bird. So it's more like emotional also. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, maybe like this yellow point next to the eye. Well, depends. Yeah, of course, do the yellow eye. But this point maybe lower a bit the intensity, yeah. So oh yeah, yeah, I see it. It's also not the most important, and I mean, yeah, um, otherwise it it's um, contradicts. Okay, cool. I see it. Yeah, look, looking forward uh, when yeah <laughs> to, to see the the yeah. final result, and also think about the background. Yeah, it doesn't really have to be all all covered, yeah. Um, so you, you have those interesting strokes in the corner. Um, yeah, maybe something also can be like this, halfly, halfly done. Yeah, like those, they look even a bit like maybe something like bamboo or <clears throat> some, yeah, so maybe you, oh, can, okay. Okay. you can even have maybe some like horizontal part and then some vertical and having feeling maybe it's a grass, yeah. So okay. I also didn't have thought about it, but like looking at your strokes, yeah, and also maybe not all the part, but a bit here, a bit there, yes. So, but again, yeah, it's your decision how active you want to do the background, yeah. Like me, Darren, we did just 
some color so we we are telling okay the bird is of course the Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for um, this also. <laughs> Thanks, Darren, for his awesome pictures, as always. <laughs> They're saving us <laughs> spontaneous in, in, uh, in oh, our pleasure. art. Yeah. Right. Well, I will leave it there. Uh, there's no class next week, is there? So I will hopefully see you in a couple weeks' time. <laughs> Yes, okay. yes. So yeah, so next Saturday I'm out. And then yeah, in then in November already. Um yeah, yeah, then I see you, Darren. Um yeah, I'll I'll stick here a bit more to correct my, my birdie. Yeah. So <laughs> Okay. Yeah, bye -bye. We'll see. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Bye bye. Take care, Darren. So we can still uh, talk a bit more and um, I will take off the tape and then I'll stop recording and then we can <laughs> actually stick a bit more and chat. I usually always do it with Kara. <laughs> yeah. Every everyone's gone and then... Uh, <laughs> Poor Karen. That's trying to... Oh, don't... Yeah, her mind is... I've been lucky with that. I haven't gotten it. Mm. Yep. So. Mm.